has been a wonderful event so far. There are many interesting sessions that we have attended. We've learned a lot. We've met a lot of people who are supposed, to, we think there are going to be potential partnerships with them that are going to aid the UAE space sector. Personally, I feel very fortunate to be in this position. Um, I have been backed up by our leadership who have been pushing women into very difficult positions. The industry is quite difficult, to be quite honest, and it's not just the UAE, it's worldwide. It's very male-dominated, so you don't see a lot of women uh, in the position. Uh, I work really hard trying to convince females to join, because once you shine as a female, you will take over the whole sector. They will notice you easily, because you're just a female in between a lot of males. So to me, I, I think that it's a great thing. Um, I'm always, uh, I, I love challenges and I like seeing that the sector is difficult, but we can overcome challenges quite easily as females because we know how to multitask and do things better than men, I believe. So um, I feel very fortunate actually, yes. I'm the Chief Innovation Officer at the UE Space Agency and my job entails education, innovation and communications. But as an agency, we do a lot. Uh, we, regulate, we are regulating the sector, so we're creating policies that are going to help the sector grow and develop further. We're also uh, working on different strategic partnerships to help the UAE sector, the space sector in the UAE, prosper. Uh, we're doing a lot of educational initiatives and creating a lot of awareness because this is Greenfield in the UAE. So we're working with um, the Ministry of Education, with Abu Dhabi Educational Council and different agencies in the UAE to uh, inform the UAE uh, public about the importance of space and what has space created for, 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 for the world. And on the Mars mission, we've got a 100% Emirati team working on the Mars mission, our, our pride and joy basically and we're working with different entities worldwide on trying to get the knowledge transfer and the consultancy for the project. Uh, Mars Project, Project Hope uh, is actually going very well. I think we're, uh, we are still on schedule. Hopefully we will remain on schedule until the delivery date of the project and the launch. Being an Emirati in such a position, I feel obligated to actually work with a lot of the younger generation to enroll into the sector. It's not easy because it's very competitive. Um, I started working probably uh, 15 years ago and I was one of the very few females who ha have enrolled in very difficult positions. So I was. Uh, in the defense industry before the, and then I moved into aviation and now into space and I've been known to go into these very difficult sectors. Um, so I'm trying to convince Emirati youth, not just females. I work harder with females but the Emirati youth in general that you don't have to graduate and hold a managerial position. Uh, if you want to help develop the country and make a difference basically, then do something different than everyone else. Um, only dead uh, fish swim with the stream. So if we go against the stream, I think you will be able to do much, uh, much, much more for the country. Um, on every orientation for the agency, I keep telling everyone, a new joiner who comes in, we are creating history today. And we should be very proud because this is a new sector. And like other sectors, like aviation or the nuclear sector, it feels you feel responsible when you're one of those who are actually making history for the country. So I think that's a big motivational thing for them to learn about. And once you say it that way, people just want to join in. Our job today is to promote STEM education. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and maths. And to us, that is more important. The more engineers we have in the country, the better off we are. So even if they don't join the UAE space sector, even if they think about going in any other sector, we still think that they're going to help the UAE develop and prosper.